We're so excited about the news we are going to get a fourth season and a special for Sherlock. Um, do you feel a sense of pressure? I mean, because the third season really defied expectations in so many different and exciting ways. Uh, do you know, people talk about the pressure of success. I, I, I am in a position to tell you that the pressure of failure is a great deal more vicious. I think the pressure of success is just fine. <laughs> Last season really developed, I think, the uh, on-screen bond between Martin and Benedict in so many interesting ways. It was much more character-driven, I think, than perhaps even the earlier seasons were. Is that something that you're looking to kind of continue? And especially now we've got Amanda on board as Mary as well. Um, well, it's always like that, Sherlock. I mean, it has been from the very beginning. I mean, it's never exactly been mystery-driven. The original stories aren't particularly mystery-driven. You're sort of fascinated by Sherlock Holmes and his best pal. Uh, so that's how it works. Uh, it's, it's terrible how... Uh, we were doing commentaries the other day, Mark and me and Sue and you know actually, and uh, we're saying, goodness me, occasionally the plot just takes a wander off for about half an hour, doesn't it? Here, better, better remember, better remind people there was a mystery we were solving. <laughs> that was the plan. We thought we'd bring it back and we uh, and we'd make everybody think we'd gone soft, uh, and that and and it's absolutely true that Sherlock is substantially more human uh, in the third season than he is in the first two. That doesn't necessarily make him better. In fact, as he demonstrates in the last episode, he's sort of worse than ever. But he's now capable of dating somebody, and he's capable of shooting someone in the face if he's cross. I'm not sure it's made him a better person to be more human, but he is more human. And the other major relationship with Sherlock, I guess, uh, Andrew's phenomenal uh, performance as Moriarty. I mean, how vital is it, do you think, for Sherlock to have someone like that to play against? And are we going to see him back, we hope, in season four? Well, Moriarty is very unpredictable. I never know when he's going to show up again. It's a complete surprise to me. So, who knows what he'll do next? Uh, is it important? You need great villains. But we had another great villain last year as well. We had uh, Lars Mikkelsen as uh, Charles Augustus Magnuson. So, but, you know, you don't need a great villain every episode. It's hard to top those two.